Words and Pictures Phonics Special. Hello, I am the letter B. I am the letter C. And I am the letter M. There are 26 of us. And together we make up the letters of the alphabet. And here we are in alphabetical order. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Everybody sing with me. H, I, J, K, L, M, N. When we stop, we start again. O, P, Q, R, S, T. Is everybody still with me? U, V, W, X, Y, Z. 26 letters of the alphabet. Each letter in the alphabet makes its own sound. But if you put some of us together, we can make new sounds. But which letters will it be today? <laughs> Uh-oh! Look out! Someone's coming! Hello, I'm Sophie. Are you ready to see what today's letters are? Here we go. Open the lid, feel around, pull out the letters. What sound have we found? The letter O, which usually says O. Oh. <laughs> and another letter O. If you put two O's together, the O oh sound can change to ooh. Let's look and listen out for some double O words as we meet the man in the moon. Without any warning, the man in the moon dropped into our school at round about noon. You may not believe me, but I have the proof. There's a man in the moon shaped hole in the roof. Moon and school both have today's double O sound in the middle. Let's find out how they're spelt. Magic fridge, can you help us? Fridge, fridge on the floor. Spell those words out on your door. Moon 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 School Thanks, Fridge. I visited a double O word to find sounds to stick in my sound scrapbook. I went to a zoo. Just like us, animals need to eat. So I've come here to Marwell Zoo in Hampshire to help feed some of the animals who live here. This is Rachel. She's a zookeeper at Marwell, which means she looks after the animals and makes sure they're healthy and happy and never hungry. And I'm joining Rachel on her rounds. Hello, Sophie. Hi there. I'm really looking forward to helping you today. I can see trays full of fruit and vegetables. Uh, do animals eat the same type of food as us? Many of them do, but there's a lot of things here you wouldn't want to eat. Or maybe you'd like to try a giraffe nap. Um, I think I'll give that a miss. Well, the giraffes might get a bit upset if I eat their food. <laughs> Wait a minute. Food. My first word with a double O sound. Time for a photograph. <coughs> this is Penguin World. Rachel's inside giving them their breakfast, so I think I'd better go and join her.
I'm really looking forward to this. We're going to feed the penguins. Oh, look, they're coming. <gasps> These are the macaroni penguins. Oh, they look really funny, don't they, when they're walking? Yeah. Come round here and I'll give you a fish. And just one each, is it? Yeah. Why are they called macaroni? Because of the yellow bits on the top of their head. Once they finish feeding, they'll either go and sit up in the rocks or they might go for a swim in the pool. Mmm. <gasps> Wait a minute. Pool. That's another word with a double O sound. Better take a picture, hadn't I? <laughs> no, not of you. Do you know which animal this is? It's a hippo. But Rachel, I thought hippos were really huge animals and this one's really quite small. There's two types of hippo. The pygmy hippos, like Wendy, they live in the forest and the big hippos live in the grassy areas. Oh, I see. And what do pygmy hippos, like Wendy, like to eat? Grass, leaves, apples, a couple of bananas, that type of thing. Should we try her with a banana? Yeah. There we go. Here we go. Here you are, Wendy. Have a banana. <gasps> My goodness! Look at that enormous great tooth. Hey, tooth. My last double O word of the day. Time for one last photograph. Rachel, maybe you could give her another banana and I'll take the photo. Wendy. Open wide, Wendy. Time for a story. Today's story is all about a little boy and his tooth. It's called Dave and the Tooth Fairy. David Alexander Curtis had a wobbly tooth, a very wobbly tooth. He wibbled it and wobbled it backwards and forwards, but it wouldn't come out. One day after breakfast, Dave sneezed. <laughs> His tooth shot out of his mouth, flew across the room and disappeared. Dave searched everywhere for his missing tooth. He looked down the side of the old sofa where everything went. He found crusty crumbs, his favourite car, an enormous comb and three old buttons. But no tooth. No tooth meant no visit from the tooth fairy. No visit from the tooth fairy meant no money. No money meant no kite. Dave wanted a new kite very much. On the way to school, Dave met his friend Zizwe. Do you believe in tooth fairies, Ziz? asked Dave. Yes, Ziz grinned. The tooth fairy's been to my house four times. Dave was determined to find his tooth, but he couldn't. Then Grandad came to stay. I sneezed and lost my tooth, Grandad, said Dave. Once I sneezed so hard all my teeth flew out. Grandad laughed. That night, Dave had an excellent idea. When everyone was fast asleep, he tiptoed downstairs. Grandad was asleep on the sofa. In a strip of light, on a table, in a glass, a complete set of teeth smiled at Dave. He picked up the glass and tiptoed back upstairs. Far, far away in Tooth Fairyland, Afia sat alone on duty. Then Dave's tooth call came. Afia quickly prepared herself for her journey. She spread her bright wings and flew into the night towards Dave's house. At last, by the light of the moon, she floated into Dave's room. One tooth, two teeth, 32 teeth? I can't afford all these. In Dave's house, Grandad yawned and got up. He stepped on something sharp. Ouch! It's Dave's tooth, he whispered. Grandad crept upstairs. Very quietly and very gently, he lifted Dave's pillow. He nearly jumped right out of his slippers. His own teeth were smiling at him. Just before the sun peeped over the hills, a very tired tooth fairy flew back into Dave's room. Under his pillow, she found just one little tooth. Where have all those teeth gone? She wondered. Afia quickly collected the single tooth and put some money under Dave's pillow. 
At eight o'clock exactly, David Alexander Curtis jumped out of bed and looked under his pillow. He ran downstairs to see Grandad. Dave was delighted. He had enough money to buy his kite. Near his house, on a hill, in a field, David Alexander Curtis flew his kite. His biggest kite ever. I wonder if Dave's kite will fly as high as the moon. Lights on the frame go round and round. Show us pictures with today's sound. Tooth Moon Roof Pool Moon Tooth Roof All these words have today's oo sound in the middle. Watch how Magic Pencil writes it. Do an O and across the top. Come right round until the O joins up. Do an O and across the top. Come right round until the O joins up. Do an O and across the top. Come right round until the O joins up. Here are all the double O words I collected at the zoo ready to stick in my sound scrapbook. And as usual, I want to stick them in in alphabetical order. And here's something that will help. The kitchen curtain. Kitchen curtain. In case we forget, show us the letters of the alphabet. And now it's time for my favourite tune, the alphabet song. And remember, as I sing each group of letters, listen out for the first letter in each of these words. Tooth, food and pool. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Did you hear it? F is the first letter in food. So food goes here. H-I-J-K-L-M-N No, neither of these words is in that group of letters. O-P-Q-R-S-T There were two words in that group of letters. P is the first letter in pool, so pool goes here. And T is the first letter in tooth, so tooth goes last. Well, I've finished all my words, so I'll finish the song. U, V, W, X, Y, Z, 26 letters of the alphabet. And so my words in alphabetical order are food, pool and Tooth. Why don't you make your own sound scrapbook? And don't forget to stick your words in in alphabetical order. Toodaloo! <laughs>